Thank you so much for coming out this evening. Before I wax philosophical on the shakers, uh, I just want to commend our very own Christina Carnifex one more time for conduct making her conducting debut. <laughs> We're not done gushing about Christina. Not only did Christina make her conducting debut this evening, she performed her senior recital this past Saturday, and then the weekend before that did approximately 400,000 shows of You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, playing in the pit orchestra. So kudos, kudos to you. Um, so since Frank T. Kelly could probably articulate about the Shakers much more eloquently than I ever could, I'm just going to read what he has written. The Shakers were a religious sect who splintered from the Quaker community in the mid-1700s in Manchester, England. Known, uh, known then derisively as Shaking Quakers, that's my new roller derby name, um, because of the passionate shaking that would occur during their religious services, they were viewed as radicals, and their members were sometimes harassed and even imprisoned by the English. One of those imprisoned, Anne Lee, was named the official leader of the church upon her release in 1772. Two years later, driven by her vision of a holy sanctuary in the New World, she led a small group of followers to the shores of America where they founded a colony in rural New York, which is not that far away. Uh, so when we first programmed, or uh, when I first announced this program, people were a little confused. Why are we doing four Shaker folk songs on a concert called Riots and Revolution? Well, it's because revolution and rebelling and uprising isn't always, you know, violent, glamorous, films or documentaries, sometimes it's much more quiet and understated. So with that, we're going to perform four Shaker songs. After that, we're going to perform one of my favorite new marches, On Parade by Amanda Aldridge. This piece was unearthed in probably early 2020 because I don't think any of us had anything better to do. Uh, so Caitlin Bo found this piece on IMSLP, which is an internet music library that's public domain for use. Um, and there's several pieces for winds that were written for instruments that no longer exist, and I don't think many of us are sad that they don't. Um, so this piece was updated for a modern wind ensemble by Caitlin Vogt. Amanda Aldridge, very fascinating character, um, in the early 1900s wrote under a pseudonym of Montague Ring because she was a woman. How dare she be a woman and compose gasp. Uh, so she, but everybody who programmed her work or knew her or knew the art scene in England knew who that was, and they still programmed it anyway, which is really pretty cool. Uh, so on parade, Amanda Aldridge, she was raised by an African-American Shakespearean actor and a Swedish mother opera singer. I know, our parents all just collectively got much more boring. Um, so, so her influences were that unlike anybody else composing with her at that time. So, but before that, we're gonna sing, or we're going to sing, we're not. Uh, we're going to perform the four Shaker songs by Frank T. Kelly. Please hold your applause until the very end. Thank you.
Thank mm-hmm. you.